So today we're gonna to be doing a quick little video on what's in the queue. Um, like I've mentioned before, I used to have it on my Instagram. Every day I'd post up just a simple thing that I did just to explain what was in the car. Uh, so I just picked three random things on the car, no particular order, reason, anything, just three things that came to mind. I'm gonna just go over and explain what's in it. Like I said, a little bit shorter video, but I'm trying to go through all the older stuff as well as the new stuff here. So the first thing we have is the 034 turbo inlet pipe. Quite honestly bought this just because it was on sale. Wasn't gonna spend $75 for it. Got it for like $30, I believe. Looks better than stock one. That's about it. Up next is the 034 billet catch cam. So it's got the AN lines. Has the breather that replaces a factory breather on top of the valve cover. As you can tell, I have not cleaned my engine in a very long time. So this was to help combat carbon buildup. And quite honestly, I was surprised the first time I emptied this, how much garbage was in there. So we'll see how it lasts in the long term, but it seems to be doing its job quite well so far. The last thing I was going to discuss in this video was the ECS tuning front mount intercooler. So I got this kit to see, number one, if it would even fit on a Q5. Uh, my old coworker installed it when the front end was apart for all the suspension work. The reason I chose this was price point was always, you know, a factor. as well as the fact that it came with new charge pipes as well. So there's this, the one that goes over here on this side that gets rid of a muffler. And then on the turbo side, it comes with a new piece that connects to the muffler that gets rid of the factory turbo muffler. And all the piping on either side of the intercooler, hot and cold side. He did have to modify a few things on the car to get this to fit. Um, the bracket was changed out for just some simple aluminum brackets. Uh, the original piece wouldn't fit with the crash bar in the Q5. It did work before we put in the light bar, but after the light bar we had to make up some simple brackets. So that's pretty much it for this section of what's in the queue. I'll do a few more like this where it's just a couple at a time explaining them. You know, a lot of this stuff was B8 specific, doesn't really supposed to fit a Q5, but we figured out if it did or not. And that's kind of what happened with the CR15 brace. I bought it for the Q5 and ended up not working, so used it on the B8 and a half. Now the ECS core isn't as big as others on the market. Uh, it's not as big as the AWE one that we have on the A4, but for what I have, it works just fine. Um, fitment's pretty good, considering it wasn't designed for a Q5 as well. Um, price was definitely on point. I think it was like 400 bucks shipped versus all the other major brands, eight, $900 for no charge piping and stuff like that as well. So with not the best core, but having the charge piping and the turbo muffler delete, it seemed worth the risk and paid off pretty well. Well, thanks for watching and there'll be more of these coming soon. 
takes one skip to one skip one skip one skip Yo, one skip 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 one sk